So this is just a quick overview of the uh, Vetus Nucleus VRS 2022 29er um, and the modifications I've done to it. So I bought the bike used but it had barely been used um, and it came with these mud guards. So pop them on, toe peak, just kind of straps on the seat tube like that. Same at the front, that's the model. And this is like the maiden ride. I've not actually taken it properly, like off-road, off-road. Just this kind of stuff. Gravel lanes. And uh, it seems pretty good. My, the one major complaint I've got is my cardio is absolutely wank. So four miles in and I'm already knackered. But it can only go up from here, can't it? The previous owner also put these on. You can pause the video and figure out what model it is. What I will say is they're very grippy. I'm just wearing these, what are they, 50 Peaks off-road boots and my feet don't move whatsoever. They really dig into the tread, which is nice. Um, other mods, I got this little pack here. It was about a tenner on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. It's got a multi-tool, a Schrader, a Presta to Schrader valve adapters. I also bought extra ones and put them on. I just don't like Presta valves. Uh, it's got puncture repair kit in there, tire levers, um, multi tool, I think I said that already. Uh, and a mini pump as well. So there's a pump in there. It's just a backpack, nothing special. Then I bought forks out for the Light Lock X1. I've already done a video on that. I uh, justified the price because I also have a motorbike and it'll be ideal for that as well. I thought it would rattle like fuck, but um, about an hour into a ride and it hasn't moved an inch. So this is really good. You just have to be careful not to let those touch the tires. And then I just thread it through this bottle cage. I've got a bottle in my bag, so. And yeah, doesn't rattle, doesn't move. Really happy with it. Other mods, I bought a sticker pack on Amazon. I'll link that as well. So stuck one there in case I hang anything off the bike. There's also another one here. You probably can't really see it, but it starts there and runs all the way down. Uh, another one right there, look. Just in case my bottle or the lock rubs. Uh, there's also one there, which is coming off. Um, replace the plastic clips with cable ties because they're known to break cable tied that out the way um, also got this quad lock knockoff from Amazon uh, or it might have been eBay and bought a new phone case um, and stuck this on the back and 20 minutes into the ride the tape failed and my phone fell on the floor but the phone's fine for the price I think it was 15 quid including the uh, uh, shock like damper, vibration damper, for the equivalent official quad lock, it's something like 80 quid, which is insane for a bit of plastic. So I've ordered some proper 3M tape, I'll just peel all this off, stick it down, get a exacto knife around the edge to cut the excess, and stick it back on, and that will be fine. Um, I might even see if I can thread like a cable tie around it, but yeah, like I've it's annoying but I'm not going to moan like 15 quid saving so much money versus the official quad lock and the actual mount itself is sturdy as hell that hasn't moved at all um, and I think regarding modifications that's about it I don't have you can get inner tube slime which I haven't bought yet but luckily no punctures the tyres are at 55 psi currently because it's mainly gravel slash roads i'm on at the minute um and i take it on some trails and knock them down to about 40. it says 35 minimum on the sidewall so i'll take that advice and uh, not much else to say um as i said it's like the maiden proper ride one thing i have noticed is the position of these shifters aren't ideal so i'm going to go home undo this and rotate them a bit so it's more suited to my body position um, I've not messed with the 
uh, pressure in the forks but based on this indicator I do need to add a bit of pressure to it I think. I've tried the lockout which works really well for road riding it's not currently enabled but I'll probably turn it back on in a minute um, and yeah that's about it it came with this little bell which I don't don't anticipate using much it also came with uh, spoke reflectors which are just going to break off as soon as I take it off road so not bothered with that I did just put this one on just for show really because I don't really intend to ride at night much so uh yeah overall pretty happy with it so far everything seems well built and well put together as I said no rattles from the lock the mud guards aren't rattling and they're not they're not shifting out of position either um, I bolted this little extender on which it came with you don't have to obviously and then you can adjust the angle of this bit and also the main body of the mudguard the front doesn't really have any adjustment you just kind of cinch it up under the uh, stem is that the stem? I don't know, I'm not really a biker I think that's called the stem um, and you can remove the front or remove the rear if you want to um, so yeah, that's about it I've got a uh, what's it? a uh, muck off um, dry lube on the chain because I don't really intend to ride in the rain all that much the gears feel good I've not messed with the derailleur or anything um, this is how Chain Reaction set it up I guess like two years ago or whatever it was um, they seem to shift pretty quickly sometimes they can take a, a bit longer than you would think so I might tweak the derailleur like the end points and all that I'll have to brush up on how to do it because I used to know but I quit biking for a long time so I'm not like I couldn't do it without a manual like a YouTube video put it that way um, so yeah brakes are still bedding in they don't feel great they're a bit they kind of feel like they're either on or they're off um, with that said the previous owner said he only took it on a I think he said a 20 mile ride once and then stored it away because he got an e he got this bike but the e-bike version which was about two and a half grand um, so I don't predict I don't think these brakes are fully bedded in yet um, but they lock the wheels up if need if need be on this ride today I did go down a few steps because um, I saw Sam Pilgrim do it and I thought how hard can it be if I break a bone I break a bone <laughs> It went down them just fine. It was a bit scary though, but I've just got to learn the body position. So going downhill, ass off the seat and shift your body weight back. Um, the next up upgrade I do is obviously going to be a dropper post. Um, but then I'd have to remove the mud guard, obviously, or it will keep hitting into the wheel. But I'm five think about five foot eleven last time I checked and this is the large frame and just hopefully this gives you some idea of sizing so the seat post is quite high I'm sure there's more room for adjustment um, I could even lift that seat post up a little bit I think because uh, my legs aren't fully extended on the downstroke so yeah if you like 510 or taller the large I think is best for you it does feel like the handlebars are a touch low but I could always raise them with some carbon spaces here I guess but it's not uncomfortable like I don't have backache or anything like that so yeah hope this helps as I said I'm just in the Oxfordshire countryside trying to get my fitness up and this is a really fun way of doing it so I'd recommend the bike I know that's that word doesn't that opinion doesn't mean much because I'm not taking it on trails or anything but for what I'm currently using it for it's holding up really well we'll have to see how she copes on some like rougher terrain that'll be a future video for now I'm just this is more of like a shakedown ride making sure all my mounts and everything are all cinched up so cheers peace out <laughs>